Hi everyone, Matt Watson here. So you might be wondering, what kind of drag race have you got going on here? All I see is three pretend little SUVs. Well, it's kind of what we got, but they are the high performance version. I've got the Audi SQ2. Next to me is the BMW M X235i. And then next to that is the Volkswagen t rock R. Really underneath the skin, this is an Audi S3. That is a BMW M135i, and that is a Golf R. So let's talk about the stats. This has a two litre turbocharged petrol engine with 300 horsepower, 400 newton meters of torque, a seven speed dual clutch automatic gearbox with launch control and all wheel drive. It starts from around 37,000 pounds and weighs in at just over 1500 kilos. That BMW next to me also has a two litre turbocharged petrol engine, though it puts out 306 horsepower and 450 newton meters of torque. It has an eight speed torque converter gearbox, all wheel drive, of course, and it costs from 44,000 pounds. Ow and it weighs in at almost 1,700 kilos. So it's the lard arse of the bunch because that Volkswagen t rock car actually weighs in at just under 1,600 kilos. It also, like this Audi, has a two litre turbocharged petrol engine with 300 horsepower, 400 newton meters of torque, seven speed dual clutch automatic gearbox, four wheel drive launch control, and it costs from 38,000 pounds. Anyway, let's go on with the race. Now, before we do, please make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you're alerted when we make a new upload. Let's go my phone for a bit. What are they doing this? Oh, I'll tell you what, look at this, all right? New Colwell app, it's there. You can download it if you want, it's completely free. And then on that, you can do stuff like compare reviews of cars, compare offers on cars. It's also got this really neat feature where you can scan a car's number plate and it'll tell you how much it's worth. Do you know what? If you'd like to get this for yourself on your phone, just click on the pop out banner up there and you can download it. You may as well do it while you're waiting for them to set up. See you on the other side of the sting. Okay, here we go. Three, two, BMW got off really was. I said the blooming Volkswagen. Now the Audi's doing its business. Come on, Audi. I reckon I might just have it. Come on, Audi. That T Rox coming back. This is so close. I've no idea. What could have been one of the most boring races in the entire world ever turned out to be one of the most exciting and closely fought races. That was wicked fun. What happened, guys? I think that BMW got an awesome star. Yeah, it's a really good launch control system. Thought I was away, looked to the right, saw next, looked to the left, and saw you coming back. That T Rock was slowest off the line. I think it might have been your reactions, but then it started to catch up. I was fairly quick. I wasn't as quick as the BMW, but did an all right job. Did you catch the BMW in the end? I think I did. I got a bad start, but then I reeled you in, and I just edged ahead of the BMW at the line. Did I beat the BMW? I don't know. I'm not sure that I did. We're going to have to do an action replay on this. In fact, why don't we do the whole so then what exactly happened? While the cars were so closely matched, but the slow motion shows the VW just crossed the line first, followed by the BMW, and finally, the Audi. Though they all recorded a standing quarter mile time of 13.4 seconds. Okay, now let's have a rolling race from 50 miles an hour with the cars in comfort and in drive and just chilling out. I'm gonna call it in, see what happens. Okay, here we go then. Three, two, one, go! This kicked down pretty good. It's only the BMW. Come on, Audi. That T Rock, what's going on? Now the BMW looks like it's gaining some back again. Is it more aerodynamic? I don't know. Are we catching up with a T Rock? What is going on here? I've literally no idea why this is doing this, and I've also no idea when the end of the runway is, and I'm doing like 143 in a blooming hatchback shopping cart. Oh my god, I'm braking. Brake, guys, brake hard. I want to show you guys this. Look, there's the BMW, right? Just here is the end of the runway. And if you go off that speed, it's not good for the underside of your car. 
Well, that was interesting. Do you know what? I want to hear this from the T Rock's point of view first because it looked like you weren't in it, then you were just winning it, and then I don't know what happened. And just like the start, I didn't get as good a launch as you did, or the BMW, which just flew off. But then I creeled him back in, got ahead of the both of you, and then come 130 miles oh. an hour, <laughs> looked to my left, who do I see? It's the X2 tearing past me, going hell for uh. leather, absolutely couldn't believe it. Yeah, but then it was really odd between me and the BMW. I got ahead of you a little bit, but then you started to pull it back. I don't know whether it was all down to aerodynamics. I don't know what was going on, or maybe the throttle map. They were quite closely matched, and each was performing better at different kind of speeds. Yeah, the BMW just seemed to get better as it got faster, weirdly, so maybe it was aerodynamics. I think this and the BMW both took off very closely together. I think the BMW kicked down maybe a bit better and really at like normal driving speeds the BMW won that and I think overall it won it as well didn't it? Right and let's do the same thing again but this time locked in third gear and the car's in their sportiest setting so I'll count it in three two one go. It's picked up so well and the good thing is I don't need to change gear even though it's in manual because it'll do it itself. This picked up the best. Now the T-Rock is doing its thing, but it's starting to claw it back. Let's see how this plays out. If I was in an RS car, it wouldn't change up for me if I was in manual mode, so sometimes I'd flip the gearbox. Now here comes the X2. Can it catch? Is it gonna do me? The T-Rock's done me. It's, what, what, it's like it's, Got nitrous! This is like Fast and the Furious! This is changed up again. Let's call this off. That was amazing. <laughs> I took off first and was doing the best, and then the T Rock came past me. The BMW did eventually, and it was kind of slow. Then at 130, yet again, it just like took off. Yeah, exactly. The BMW was always more impressive that time because we all kind of went off together. You went off, the VW went off, so I watched you going away. And then once again, 130 miles an hour, it starts spreading really strongly again. I went past the both of you. That was also very, very weird. Anyway, let's move on to the final challenge. All right, then. Final test. We're going to do an emergency stop from 70 miles an hour. When we hit the line, see which car can stop in the shortest distance. Here comes the line, left foot brake time. You didn't win that BMW. No, you didn't. <laughs> but I'm not sure where the T-Rock is and whether I beat it. So I'm gonna move the BMW out of the way. BMW, you can just edge forward so I can see where the T-Rock is. Let's have a look. I'm not sure I'm any the wiser. I'm gonna to have to get out and do some measuring. Measuring time. Okay, I'll be brutally honest with you, I have absolutely no idea, I can't tell. Oh. My. God. I don't know, it's dead equal, isn't it? Looks like it from where I'm sitting, which makes sense, they are the same car underneath, I suppose. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm only doing like one caffeinated drink a day. Oh. And no booze, my life's so dull, I was waiting to come to work, the weekend was like <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> What we're gonna do now, we've got a very clean flat. Seven it is. Um, craft SUV, small thing, drag race. Then why are we doing it drag race? Well, but we are. Just, uh, no oh no, don't worry, get out. Go on, just get out. It's fine. Oh, if that's, a, are you sure? Yeah, just get out. <laughs> don't be shy, then you can't, you'll regret it afterwards. This is abuse. Put that in, put that in.